And now it's time for Bay Curious, where we answer listener questions about the Bay Area. Today's question comes from listener Ajith Kumar, who wants to know, why are there millions of containers in West Oakland? How many containers are shipped every month? All those containers have come through the Port of Oakland, the fifth busiest container port in the U.S. A lot of products come through here, probably including your shoes, shirt, toothbrush, and teddy bear. Our reporter, Jessica Placek, went to check out the port. This is going to be silly. We can try it. But again, if we start doing this... <laughs> this is Mike Zampa, the communications director at the Port of Oakland. And he's pumping his arms, trying to get a massive ship loaded down with thousands of containers to honk its horn for me. I don't think they play those games. They're, those yeah, big ships I, I only like honk the horn for serious purposes. Right. Zampa and I are on the edge of the water. From where we stand, we can see ships coming in, and on the shore, thousands of containers are stacked sky-high in the seaport of Oakland. It handles about 2.5 million containers of cargo every year. You name it, you'll find it in a container. Palm trees have been sent via container. Racehorses have been sent via container. Standard containers are 20 feet long, and I was surprised to learn how many can fit on a ship. Now, on average, is about 14,000 containers. If you put all of that cargo onto airplanes, how many airplanes would it take? I couldn't tell you, but that's a lot more exhaust being emitted. We crunched the numbers. It would take roughly 630 747s to equal the volume of one ship. This port is unusual in the U.S. in that it exports slightly more than it imports. And what does our port export? Dried fruits and nuts, wine and other beverages. But also lots of paper. If you think about it, everything you buy is going to come in a cardboard box. You need material to make cardboard boxes, so the West Coast sends a lot of scrap paper to Asia. To make cardboard boxes that then get filled with goods and shipped back here. And why Oakland? Well, the seaport has over a thousand acres of space, which you need for container shipping. It's close to urban centers, and the location easily hooks up with railway lines. Somewhere between 10 and 20 percent goes on the rail, and the railroad is right across the street from the seaport. That cargo would go to places like Salt Lake City or Denver. The majority of incoming products are loaded onto trucks, then brought to destinations in Northern California and Western Nevada. Okay, cool. Now you know how most fidget spinners got from the factory to your fidgety fingers. For KQED, this is Jessica Placek.